Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't have to, and today we are talking about the latest NEO stock news updates, some new analyst price targets and predictions, and we're going to compare NEO to Lee Auto as well as Xpeng. I'm also going to give an update on a previous video I did about how NEO is going to be listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, which actually happened just like we said it would, but despite this, the NEO stock price has fallen by over 10% today. So for more videos like this one on NEO stock, remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below about NEO, and without further ado, let's get right into today's stories. So to give the update on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, because again, NEO listing on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange is going to be very good for not only political reasons, if they get delisted from various United States stock exchanges, it's also good because it's going to bring in new investors to NEO. The founder, chairman, and CEO of NEO said thanks to the trust of our users, the commitment to our colleagues, and the support of our investors and partners, NEO has successfully listed on the SEHK, which is a Hong Kong stock exchange. While the automotive industry is going through rapid transformation, we will continue to make innovations in technologies, bringing superior products and experiences to our users, and create long-term value for our investors." End quote. So overall, this is fantastic news, and I just wanted to start the video off by giving a quick update on what we talked about in our last NEO video. And how how NEO could be worth over $50. But now I want to talk about NEO XPeng and Li Auto. So first I'm going to go over all of their current prices, their price targets and predictions according to analysts, and then the news regarding these various electric vehicle companies, and why the majority of EV companies are currently pulling back. So NEO currently trades at around $17 per share right now, while the low end 12 month analyst price target is $20 per share, the average analyst price target for the next year is $50, and the high end most bull bullish price target for NEO stock is $87 per share. It's always good to see how the current stock price is trading below the low end analyst price target, which gives us a fantastic buffer of safety. And I'll actually go into detail why I think NEO is a fantastic buying opportunity for growth investors, because it's almost a value stock right now. Now let's talk about one of their electric vehicle competitors over in China, which is XPeng, ticker symbol XPEV. The current stock price trades for around $26. The low end analyst price target for the next 12 months is $39, the average price consensus among professionals is $59, and the high-end price prediction is $92 per share. So XPEV and XPeng have fantastic upside from the stock's current price, even more so than NEO, at least according to analysts. Lastly, we're going to talk about Li Auto, ticker symbol LI, which currently trades for around $25. The low-end analyst price target is $19, the average price prediction for the stock is $42, and the high-end analyst price prediction goes all the way up to $64 per share. However, analysts actually think that all three of these stocks could rebound very nicely as soon as the end of March. So now let's take a look at their actual deliveries, starting with NEO. So NEO delivered around 6,131 vehicles, which is around a 9.9% growth rate year over year, which is not that bad. But even with that being said, the growth has been slowing for the first two months for 2022, and this decline is not very good, especially because in investors are feeling the hit from this and liquidating their shares, which is pushing stock prices even lower. So the decline in production and the overall delivery volume for NEO is likely to actually only be temporary because the Chinese holidays are all ending and NEO actually projects that they are going to have a fantastic full year of 2022. Xpeng also experienced the largest sequential drop-off in their delivery numbers, which decreased by around 52% month over month, while NEO decreased around 36% month over month, while Li Auto actually decreased around 31%. And that technically means that Li Auto has actually been the fastest growing electric vehicle company out of these three. Li Auto sold around 8,414 Li One Sport utility vehicles, and their growth rate year over year actually skyrocketed to 265.8%. Now, if you look on screen, we actually have a small graph here, which shows the months of December, January, and February, as well as the overall growth rates for these companies year over year when comparing Neo, Xpeng, and Li Auto. And year over year, Li Auto takes the cake, then Xpeng, and then Neo. However, I am still very bullish on Neo, and I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. Surprisingly, Xpeng has been beating Neo hand over fist. However, this is anticipated to change in 2022. Due 
due to Neo rolling out two new models, specifically their ET5 vehicle and their ET7, which is coming to the market this year. And this is going to be a fantastic growth catalyst for this particular company. Another catalyst that's coming up for Neo is when they release their earnings report later this month, and we could see stronger than projected cash flows, an earnings per share beat, and even a revenue beat in some instances. So for their upcoming earnings report, their quarterly results are supposed to come in with an earnings per share of a loss of 12 cents, revenue estimates of around $1.55 billion, and an EPS generally accepted accounting principles estimate of a loss of 16 cents per share. However, some analysts think that Neo could beat on almost all of these particular metrics. But to me, I would say their biggest catalyst is definitely Neo rolling out their ET5 and their ET7 sedans. The ET5 is supposed to start deliveries in September of 2022, while the ET7 sedan is going to be delivered as soon as the end of the first quarter. And these two new electric vehicle models could boost Neo's deliveries by two to 3,000 units per month, which is going to be fantastic news, which is why I think Neo is going to take back their number one spot for the electric vehicle market over in China, on top of the the fact that they are expanding very rapidly throughout Europe. Now the reason I am highlighting these three electric vehicle companies is because China actually accounts for more than half of the world's electric vehicle sales in total, and because all of these three companies call China their home, they have a unique competitive advantage in this particular market. Even more good news is that NEO is bringing in about $5.7 billion worth of revenues each year. However, this number can skyrocket all the way to $30 billion for the full year of 2026, which would imply a CAGR or compounding annual growth rate of around 40% annually, which is absolutely astonishing because anything above 30% is very good. Likewise, Xpeng and Li Auto also are anticipated to see similar top of the line growth over the next five years years. So if you can look at this chart on screen, we can actually see that NEO is anticipated to experience the largest revenue increase compared to these other Chinese electric vehicle makers, and because of this, that's why I personally really like NEO stock. However, I always have a rule that I don't allocate more than 5% of my portfolio weight to any singular company, and in this case, between NEO Xpeng and Li Auto, I would actually combine all of these companies to have around a 5% portfolio weight because I don't want to overexpose myself to too many foreign companies. Companies. For instance, I could allocate around 1% weight to Li Auto, around 2% to Xpeng, and 3% to Neo, and that's about what my current portfolio is sitting at right now. So I am not only diversified among competitors for more of a co-optition approach, I'm also diversified in electric vehicle companies that are outside of the United States because I love electric vehicle companies that are also in the United States, and I'll do a video on that after this video. And the main reason for this diversification is not only because it's safe and it will lower your risk of any losses, it's also a a fantastic long-term strategy that will give you plenty of gains, and I really appreciate how China is the electric vehicle capital of the entire world, and I want to invest into electric vehicles that are already in this particular market. Another thing I want to point out is that NEO is almost trading at two times the revenues, just two times the revenues for their forward one-year sales. So their PS ratio is literally only around a two considering their forward sales, and this is absolutely astonishing for or growth companies such as NEO. And compared to Xpeng and Li Auto, NEO is actually trading at a cheaper valuation than these particular companies. So to find such a strong growth company trading so cheaply is absolutely amazing, and that's why I am extremely drawn to investing in a NEO stock as well as other electric vehicle makers in this particular market. Now, there are plenty of risks for NEO. The first one is political risks. The tensions between the United States and China are already pretty high right now, so if China does anything such as invade Taiwan, Chinese stocks could absolutely plummet. We also know that the Chinese government has also implemented various rules very randomly on a multitude of their companies and this volatility and risk of a foreign market that negatively affect Chinese companies is a risk we need to be aware of. The second risk would be a delisting risk from the United States Stock Exchange, which I just want to put it out there is possible, but I don't think is likely anytime soon. The third major risk is the semiconductor shortage, but I only identify this as a short-term problem for electric vehicle makers because this is affecting the the entire auto industry right now. And this will also impact deliveries for the foreseeable future until the supply chain shortage actually gets dealt with. 
However, with that said, I would say that Neo does stand out compared to their competition, coming from Lee Auto and, and Xpeng, however all three of them are technically decent companies that are trading way below their actual valuation. Analysts even love all of these companies, they all have buy ratings according to a multitude of analysts. However, I really just like Neo because their company has a cult-like following, but before you invest into a foreign company, always make sure to do your own risk to reward analysis and do your own research as always. Remember to smash that like button right now, subscribe if you're new, comment your thoughts down below about Neo, Lee Auto, and XPEV, and I'll see you in the next YT video.